Hi there, my name is Kristen Williams and I'm the CEO of Junior Achievement. Over the last 15 years of my career, I have been in leadership roles in the nonprofit sector, sometimes known as the voluntary sector or the charitable sector. I didn't start my career in the nonprofit sector. I actually started my career working at Canada's Wonderland, uh, Canada's largest uh, theme park, which is a wonderful place to work and a great place to get experience. Um, but when my family came along, I really wanted to do something a bit different. And I thought that I could make uh, a contribution to the nonprofit sector. I started at the SPCA in Ontario. Uh, and there what I did was I worked on marketing and fundraising and helped to build uh, the profile for the great work of the Ontario SPCA. And then I was recruited in 2009 to come and head up the Nova Scotia SPCA. Similarly, um, in this role, I also took care of uh, a host of other activities, not the least of which was our investigations into animal cruelty, um, as, long, as well as our sheltering uh, of animals who needed our support and their eventual adoption. My role also included um, working with volunteers, uh, specifically a volunteer board, and supporting other volunteers through the organization. It was a wonderful experience, very emotional at times, um, but I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. Animal welfare is an extraordinary mission and mandate. Not too long after that, I was um, recruited to head up a Junior Achievement. Now, Junior Achievement has a really different uh, mandate than the Nova Scotia SPCA, but it's still part of the charitable sector, and I could apply the skills that I learned at the SPCA quite readily. Here at JA, I lead a wonderful team who are all dedicated to serving the youth of our province, making sure that they're ready uh, with programs in financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and workplace readiness. I serve a fantastic volunteer board who all give of their time to make sure that we have the resources we need to do our jobs. And at JA, I've been able to work with an incredible stakeholder group that supports JA from a financial perspective. And that includes working with government, but also business leaders and entrepreneurs in the community. Now, I don't think I took a very traditional approach from an education standpoint to get to where I am today. Um, my, undergraduate is, my undergraduate degree is in cultural studies. Um, I did pursue a master's in inter interdisciplinary studies, and I recently completed a PhD in management. Now, if you were to ask me what kind of degree would serve you to get into the nonprofit sector, I would tell you that a strong undergraduate degree in a social sciences would be very good. But similarly, you could study business, you could study finance. These are all skills that will be really well used in the nonprofit sector. Beyond that, I should tell you that the sector is composed of a number of people who are highly educated and it's not unusual to find somebody with a graduate degree. Uh, so getting a master's is not a bad idea, even if you can do it part-time while you're doing other, other kinds of work, which is what I did. Um, and I would suggest to you that an MBA is great, but not necessarily the, the only way you can go. I didn't get an MBA, even though I went on and did a PhD in management. So I think you can be um, you know, pursue your interests from an educational standpoint and still make a really wonderful contribution to the nonprofit sector. One of the things I will tell you that's a true asset when you're building your resume, particularly if you want to work at a charity, is you need to volunteer. And you need to volunteer for a couple of reasons. One, it gives you connections and a network within the sector, which means you're going to be meeting people who will be able to tell you about options and opportunities to become employed in the sector. Second to that, it's one of the um, most wonderful ways to get experience, particularly as you're a young person and you want to gain experience in leadership roles. Um, volunteering means that you could be put in a position where you're managing volunteers, you're managing a program, you're supporting a group of volunteers, maybe even you're on a, uh, maybe you even get a chance to join a board. And if you join a board, you could be working on things like policy or strategic planning or business planning. And those are amazing experiences whether you end up in the sector or not. So I highly suggest that you volunteer. Whenever I hire, I will tell you right now, it's one of the first things I look at on a resume. Where are they volunteering? Where are they spending their time? What, are they, what is important to that individual? Now, I can also say that there are a lot of differences between nonprofit sector entities, but there's also a lot of similarities. When I moved from uh, the SPCA over to JA, they have completely different missions and mandates, but ultimately they're organizations that are run very similarly. The biggest challenge of any nonprofit is always raising the money, and you'll be raising money from probably a number of different sources. Not all charities receive 100% core funding from government. In fact, the majority do not. 
Um, both, in both of my instances of working with the SPCAs in Ontario and Nova Scotia, as well as with JA, we do receive a portion of funding from government, but the majority of our funds come from individuals or corporations which means if you can find a volunteer opportunity where you're exposed to um, the experience of raising money, I think it's a really great uh, and worthwhile opportunity. The most challenging thing about working in this sector is twofold. One, raising the money can be very challenging and you often, um, because it's such a competitive landscape, it can be very difficult to um, find companies or individuals who are willing to invest in what you're doing. The second part of it is can, it can be very challenging and emotional, particularly if you pick an emotional mandate. I know that working with animals was a really, really tough mandate. There were days that we were very, very sad because we knew what was going on in our province and we knew what was happening to animals and it was very difficult to, uh, to deal with sometimes. So when you're looking and considering working in the sector, it's important to um, remember that some missions are very challenging and they're challenging because they come with a lot of emotional um, challenges. So when you're considering working in the sector, one of the best ways to try on different missions and mandates, again, is volunteering. See what you like about the mission and mandate and see if it's an area within the sector you might be interested in. Our sector is so large and it serves so many different incredible things. You nonprofits span uh, cultural industries, they span uh, churches and organizations, they span educational initiatives, welfare initiatives. There's a number of social services that are, make up part of the nonprofit sector. So there's a great variety of opportunity to make a contribution. Here in Nova Scotia, there's over 20,000 individuals who are employed by the nonprofit sector. So it's not a small sector by any means. We do manage to accomplish quite a lot because of the wonderful volunteers that support our organization, but there are paid roles in the nonprofit sector. Um, and there's usually a wonderful opportunity when you work with a nonprofit sector to do lots of different things. So you won't be necessarily just working on one particular area like marketing, like fundraising or volunteer management. It could be it could be quite normal to have a role that spans a lot of different functions. Um, and I did find that when I made the transition from corporate to the nonprofit sector, all of the skills that I, were useful in corporate were also useful in the nonprofit sector. So I didn't waste anything that I'd learned. And in fact, I learned a lot more because I learned that it's a lot more difficult to do the things that corporations do because you don't have the same level of funding, you don't have the same level of staffing, and you don't have the same kind of time and resources. So it can be really challenging, but it can also be really, really rewarding. One of the things I love about my job is the fact that I can actually see transformational change in youth. I can see our mission in action. And that is something that you get the privilege of being a part of no matter where you work in the charitable sector. Each of us maintains and manages an extraordinary mission that's there to serve the social safety net and provide you know, a stronger, healthier community for all concerned. There's not a single individual in Nova Scotia that isn't touched directly or indirectly by the work of the nonprofit sector. And perhaps you'll be surprised to know that many of us are women. In fact, 87% of the labor force in Nova Scotia's nonprofit sector is women. So we're quite a gendered sector. Maybe that's something you like, maybe it's something that's not appealing, but it's something to be considered. I think that's all I've got for now. Thanks so much for listening and good luck.